the acoustic guitar, the centerpiece of many genres of music, an accompaniment for many more. Entire tracks are built around this instrument, yet most take for granted the beautiful simplicity that allows this to exist. From the vibration of the strings to the standing wave resonance created within the body, this instrument is a model of physics and acoustics put to work. In a nutshell, an acoustic guitar sound is created when the player strikes a string, causing it to vibrate. The frequency at which the string vibrates, and cycles up, down, then up again, determines its pitch, which is expressed in hertz, or cycles per second. This vibration moves through the air, creating sound waves. These waves radiate away from the string, some of which are captured in the body of the guitar. The guitar's body acts as a resonance chamber, collecting the various frequencies in a harmonics and allowing them to bounce around and constructively interfere with each other. This deliberate collection of sound waves creates standing waves, which increase the amplitude of the waves and ultimately create the timbre, or tone color, we've come to associate with the acoustic. Armed with these basic concepts, let's dive a little deeper. Now that we have an understanding of vibration and resonance, let's touch on timbre. Also known as tone color, timbre is the general and overall quality of a sound. This quality is largely determined by the harmonic content, which starts with the fundamental note. This fundamental will always be the loudest and strongest wave. Fundamentals do not exist naturally by themselves, however, so all sound will also have quieter frequencies above and below this fundamental, which are known as harmonics. Since these harmonics occur at different frequencies, but at the same time, different levels of resonance will be produced for each. As a result, we hear all of these frequencies at their various amplitudes and levels of resonance at the same time. This results in our timbre, or the sound, that we have come to know for that instrument. In the acoustic guitar's case, this works because the materials that make up its body all have natural frequencies that are similar or identical to those produced by the strings. This resonance causes sound waves to build up and reinforce inside the body subsequently exiting together through the port in the front as louder sounds. So the next time you see someone playing an acoustic guitar, or decide to pick one up yourself, smile. You now know how that beautiful sound is produced. On behalf of Team Bree, we'd like to thank you for joining us as we explain vibration and resonance. We hope it has been as pleasant for you as it has been for us. Talking.